Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and still staying safe. So today is a pretty cool video. I promised it after I did playing through my dad's rig. We are now through the Marshall. I've got the emulated out on it into my recorder. So it's recording a lot better than in that video. And we've got my dad's Vox tone bender on the floor, which is super exciting. As you will have heard in the beginning, it sounds pretty gnarly. Um, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sort of go through, turn it down a bit, see what happens with it. And then what I'll do is, I'll shoot it out a bit. I've got it plugged into my pedal board, so I'll see what it sounds like against my Green Russian Big Muff, which is also a, a fuzz style pedal. So, uh, that was everything on 12. I'll just do it again here, everything on 12 o'clock. So this is the bass clean tone. So it kind of has fuzz when you hit it hard, but it kind of cleans up quite nicely if you're just soft with it. So, I'll just turn the attack up full now and see what happens. So, full attack. <laughs> So it becomes very angry there. It's like, um, it's so fuzzy and so distorted. It's quite hard to hear. So what I'm gonna do is now, I'm just gonna gun the whole pedal. Everything's gonna be up now. This is full on both. Let's see what it does. <laughs> Sounds pretty, pretty. Da it sounds like really gnarly. You almost get uh, there's so much noise and stuff from strings. You get you you don't get a lot of note definition. So it's it's probably good for a really really fuzzy breakdown. That. So what I'm gonna do is uh, apparently according to that pedal show, pedals are sound their best at two o'clock. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs>
it sounds pretty cool, um, pretty gnarly at times, but it's not my type of fuzz. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put my uh, Big Muff, everything on two. I did click on my Keely Katana Clean Boost there, right just at the end. You saw me click my foot. So I'm going to do the same with my Big Muff. This is everything at 12 o'clock. So right there, just having put that one on the end, the Big Muff is huge. It's so huge and fat and really great. And I just, the the tone bend almost sounds thin and quite a nasally fuzz. Um, so to my ear, it's not as good. That's a, an interesting, interesting thing to come out of this, that I actually prefer my Big Muff to the tone bender. I know the tone bender is a, um, a very specific style of fuzz um, and one that is used by God knows how many people but I have to say that I prefer the sound of my Big Muff to the uh, to the Vox Tone Bender there. So what can we take from this video? The Tone Bender is obviously a great fuzz. Um, it still is a great fuzz even 40 years on. This pedal is almost probably almost 40 years old now. Um, so pitting it against a, a big muff from Electro Harmonics is, is quite tough going. Uh, so it obviously does have some little bits of electric problems. Uh, I'll try and not bust your eardrums by doing this, but if I move the attack knob, it needs some deoxid in that. And if I move the input and output jacks, it's, it's going to crackle a bit, I'd imagine. There we go. So that it, there's there's some stuff that's loose in there or that's not totally right with it that we need to sit and have a look at. Me and my dad will open it up and take it to bits and sort it out. And also another thing to note, which is pretty funny on this, is the input and outputs are the wrong way around. Obviously, uh, normally in life we look at things and we read things left to right, and the pedal board, guitar pedal boards, go the other way. Because obviously you take your lead out that side and it goes in your guitar. Uh, and the Vox Tone Bender is the other way. So I'll, uh, I'll turn it off and I'll show you the pedal here. So there it is. So you can see that the output is on this side and the input is on this side. Obviously it's in pretty good nick given that it is 40 years old. It's been sat in our garage for quite a long time. It's got, and it is only powered by a battery. We had to get a new battery connector. Uh, so that's the only thing that isn't original on this is the battery connector because it was totally, totally rusted 
and horrible because it had a battery left in it, unfortunately. So that has been the end of the video there, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you do want to see some more content from the channel, or you want to see some more of this type of thing, me sort of shooting out some vintage stuff with some newer stuff. I don't know how, how I'd do it per se um, after I've sort of finished with with this Vox and the, and the chorus there. I'm not quite sure how I'd do it, uh, but I can always sort of find ways to do things. If you do enjoy this type of video, then do let me know in the comments down below. Do leave a like for me. It does help me out. If you do want to see some more content, I upload two videos a week. So please do subscribe if you want to see some more content. Thank you very much for watching once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one.